Hi you guys, welcome to another vlog. Oh, you <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome to another vlog. So I'm um, actually Winston's about to get in the car, but we just got from UPS. <laughs> oh look at that. You feel me? That's what it's supposed to do. You don't know, put your boy on camera. <laughs> Sorry guys, welcome to another vlog. We just finished up at Sprouts and now um, we went to UPS store. We have some packages to drop off for the closet sale. So thank you guys for shopping the closet sale. I got my seat, up, my seat up too far. But we did a photo shoot today. Actually, I had to take some photos wearing my necklace. Can you guys see it? It's actually super cute. It's here. I've worn it in videos and stuff, so you probably already, by now you've already seen it. But I really love this necklace and I like the way it layers with my other stuff. We got kind of a late start to the day. So I didn't really get much done today. But when I get home, I'm probably gonna just do like a little bit of computer stuff. And then um, just like relax. We trying to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. Um, we got some chicken cutlets, but I don't know if we're gonna feel like cooking that now. But I will tell you, we went to Sprouts and I really, really like Sprouts way more, even than Whole Foods. I mean, there's still some things that we gotta go to Whole Foods for, but we figured it out pretty much with Sprouts. I really loved it. And then, um, you know, Trader Joe's when we can make it there. So we're just gonna figure out what we're gonna eat now. And I don't really have much, anything exciting going on for the rest of the night. It's Monday and I'm gonna probably just chill. I was thinking about taking a bath. I got these new bath bombs from Target. I'll show you guys when I get home, if I do end up taking a bath. And I've been really excited to try them out. I don't know that they, they're not fragrant at all because I've been like switching out everything I'm using that has fragrance in it. Like as far as skincare, I'm switching things out. So unfortunately I had to return some things that I really, really love to be able to do that. Oh, I was supposed to go to Target, as a matter of fact. Um, I'll go to Target tomorrow. Or like another day this week because I want to just like take my time and browse them down the aisles, but I have kind of an idea of what I want to get. But yeah, as far as like all my skincare stuff, I'm completely switching everything over to like fragrance-free products. And then so like the only fragrance that I will use is just my perfumes. And then I'll just have to be strategic about like where I, you know, wear my perfumed lotion and actual perfume. Because I told you guys about how my perfume Sorry about the light, guys, but the sun is going crazy. But um, I told you guys about how it breaks my skin out. And so I've been doing all this research about fragrance and everything. And I already have sensitive skin, so it's just aggravating any issues. And it can lead to, like, you know, skin issues down the line. So I'm just getting rid of everything with fragrance in it. And I'm going to use very, like, simple products. A lot of the kind of things I used to use when I was younger because I've always had sensitive skin. So, like, brands like CeraVe, Cetaphil. But I think I'm going to go with CeraVe because they have some products that I was really into and then I already showed you guys the um the niacinamide that I'm using from a brand called Polish Choice I showed you guys that in a vlog previously so I'm gonna be switching over to like a lot of products like that but we'll talk more about that and I'll tell you guys like my whole skincare routine because I know a lot of you have like those kind of issues too so maybe we can talk about it um you know like a self-care or something like that but anyway I'm rattling off so I'm gonna check in with you guys later montage of us in sprouts and then we went to target we had to go and get gizmo some beef chunks for his um snacks instead of like the prepackaged kind of snacks we used to go we still go to their pet store but it's called hollywood feed and they have like healthier versions of everything um but we're switching out to give him like snacks we make at home because he's been looking at his paws a lot and the vet said it could be like a chicken allergy because they that's, apparently that's common in dogs so we've switched over his chicken snacks to beef snacks that we actually make and then i'm gonna also make him some like treats at home and everything like that so we went to sprouts for that we had to get some cranberries because we're making cranberry sauce once is gonna try my mother's recipe and then um what else you know just like vegetables and eggs and all that kind of stuff and i think we went to sprouts earlier in this vlog as well when i was chatting with you guys in the car so sprouts we go there often and we really like it actually more than whole foods we really like sprouts a lot i think i might have said that 
And then after that, we went to Target and then I had to do a couple of returns. And then I also found some eggnog. Well, it's oat milk eggnog and it's vegan and it has no eggs in it. I think they call it like a holiday nog or something like that. I'm excited to taste that. That looks like it's gonna be delicious. And I wanna make a coffee, like an eggnog latte with it. I'm gonna show you guys that in the morning and let you know how it tastes. And what else? Yeah, so now I'm home and we got our Popeye's turkey. So we're doing Thanksgiving prep and we really honestly don't do like a whole like Thanksgiving, like like a legit like Thanksgiving because I just haven't done anything like that since I was a kid or you know, like a little bit younger, but we really love Popeye's turkeys. Have you guys ever tried the Popeye's turkeys? Let me know in the comments. They're so good. And the only reason why we wait until this time of year is because they just don't have it until Thanksgiving and like Christmas. I think that's like they have it the whole like fourth quarter. And Winston just prepped it and all you do is take it out. You throw it out in your refrigerator for like a day or whatever. And then um, once it's thawed out, you can cook it. So Winston prepped it, you wrap it up real tight with foil and you just let it cook. It doesn't really take that long. It's already like flash fried. So really all you're doing is like finalizing the cook if that makes any sense. But it tastes really good. In my opinion, it's the best turkey I've ever had. It's not dry, it's very well seasoned, and we just really like it. So we actually got two. <laughs> um, yeah, and if we had a deep freeze, which we need to do, I'm gonna check out some of the Black Friday sales because we want a deep freezer to just store like extra meat and you know food for gizmo and things like that. So yeah, we would probably got another one toward the end of the year, like closer to the end of the year, maybe like next month in December because they'll still have it. If you're interested, check it out. It's really good. And they're not very expensive for the fact that you're getting like a flash fried turkey and all of that. So anyway, I just sat down to open packages and I was like, let me catch you guys up on what's going on. And I really am excited to open this package. I actually waited. I just got it in the mail, maybe like a couple days ago, but I waited to open it with you guys. So this came from a company called Otherland and they're a candle company. And if y'all remember, I told you how much I've been really obsessing over candles. So I was really excited to try these. So here it is in the package, I'm about to open it. Oh, it says Otherland on here. Otherland, New York, New York. It says that like stamped on the package. Ooh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty. Already like, look. <laughs> this is really pretty. Is it upside down? I don't think it was upside down. Oh yeah, look. This you hear that magnet? This is a really nice package. Like the packaging is really nice. I like that. This is what it looks like. You guys see that? All right, so let me read what it says. It says, Revel with Adorned. Our newest collection is inspired by the downtown discotheque where the silhouettes shimmer with soul, diamonds duet to disco, and glitzy golds gallivant with glee. Okay. A place of kaleidoscope dreams adorned in celebration of a winter wonderland in the grooviest of ways, sending you joy and shimmering delight. Abigail. Okay, so she's the CEO, the founder and CEO, the co-founder and CEO. And it has all her information, like Instagram and all that. So let's see what this is. Oh, these are matches. Look. So it has this little, can you guys see that? It has this little thing right here. And you take it out. And it's the matches. I like that. So that's really cute. I love that. Oh, I love little, like, cute packages. I think it's so nice. And it makes such good gifts. So I just took that cover off and these are the candles. It smells good, I can smell it already through the packaging. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's in there pretty good too. So this one is Forest Veil, vale. Chalet Cedar, Antique Sandalwood, and Emerald Vetiver, hope I pronounced that correctly. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like, like winter time, like a nice winter scent. That really smells good and it's not too heavy. 
That smells really good. It smells clean. Mm, I like that. And these are nice containers. And this next one I have is cinnamon musk. It has cinnamon, creamy almond, and an amber musk. Oh, this is good. And you know what? I didn't even think I was going to like it based on the name because I don't like cinnamon sort of fragrances, things that remind me of food or anything like that. I don't like that. This has like a cinnamon, more of like a cinnamon essence is what I would explain it as. It's, it's really good. It's, it's a mood. Like I feel like you should burn this like in the living room maybe. That's good. And then this last one is dessert first. I like that name. Ginger snap crisp, black cardamom, and milky tea. It smells like chai tea. I like that. It's refreshing in like a non-minty way. You know what I mean? It smells good. It, ha it smells exactly like chai tea to me. Like a chai tea latte. That's good. I like that. And I wouldn't have even picked out a scent like that. So that's interesting. But I like it. So I'm excited to burn these. And they do sell these on Sephora's website, which I was excited about because if I like them, I know I'm going to want more, <laughs> especially since I need lots of candles for the bedroom, for the studio, for the living room, for the dining area, like a lot of candles. I want to have them all throughout the house. The entryway, I really want a lot of candles. So I'm excited that I like these. I'm going to see how they burn and I'll let you guys know, you know, how I feel about them. But I really like them a lot. And from what I what I remember, I got to find my phone. I'm looking for my phone so I can read what they're made out of. Um, they're not one of those like toxic kind of candles. Let me get the ingredients and I'll tell you guys. Okay, yeah, so I just read the wax blend on um, Sephora's website and it says that it's a vegan candle actually and it's a vegetable wax blend containing hydrogenated soybean oil and hydrogenated coconut oil. So, oh, and it's a cotton wick. So I think this is good as far as candles go. And I'm happy that it's not like, um, I think petroleum, I think that's the, um, the ingredient that I'm trying to stay away from. But yeah, so I'm excited to burn these and let you guys know how I feel about them. And let me know if you tried them, but I'll link them for you guys in the description box if you're curious about them. And I'm happy that they sell them at Sephora, so that's good. And actually those candles came right on time because I've just got my Amazon package recently and I got a new, um, you know, set for my candles. I finally got one of these um, USB lighters. I really like these and I've been using the ones like, you know, the regular gas ones. I've been using those and they're fine. We still have a lot of them, but I like these better so I could just charge it up instead of having to buy it once the gas is run out of the like the fluor, the fluid ones, you know, the big ones. Once those have run out, I have to go buy more. So this one, I can just keep charging up and keep using it. So I'm going to probably get maybe one more, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, or, you know, a couple different rooms or whatever, because every room I want to have like a candle type setup. So that's what I'm working on. And then I also got a wick trimmer. I didn't have one of those. And apparently you're supposed to trim the wick every single time you go to light the candle. Like literally before every burn, you need to trim the wick. I had no idea about that. So I'm learning. And then this is random, but I got this uh, squeegee. <laughs> I got this squeegee from Amazon because to clean the showers in the bathroom is, it's a lot of work. And I just find that they never get like crystal clear and they have streaks and things like that. So I'm gonna try out using a squeegee. Everyone says that it works. And so yeah, streak free drying. And so I think that'll be good. Anyway, I got these off of Amazon. I'll link them for you guys if you wanna check them out too. And this isn't a package, but I recently went to Ulta because my favorite facial setting spray is the Morphe um, Makeup Mist or the Facial Mist. I really love that. It's gentle on my skin. I don't have any problems with it. It doesn't sting my eyes or anything like that. I really love it. But um, I found out that they had a larger size bottle. Like it looks like it, they call it a jumbo size. I'm going to see how big it is when it gets here. I can't remember the ounces, but it looks pretty jumbo. And when I compared the ounces, I remember saying like, okay, that is quite a bit more. Anyway, they had it on the website and not in the store, so I had to make an order. But I went into the store because online they said they had it in the store near me. Turns out they didn't have it and it was like this whole to-do. The systems were down and anyway, I ended up just getting a pair of lashes. So I'll show you guys when I get the face mist in, but I'll list it in the description box if you want to get the larger size. They were supposed to come yesterday, but I think they might come on Monday in the mail. So anyway... Um, I got these lashes, which I'm excited to try out because I like Ard Ardell's lashes in Wispy. 
But this is, it says faux mink, faux mink wispies. Luxuriously lightweight with not free Invisibean. So anyway, I don't wear lashes like on a daily basis. Just when I do, you know, special occasion type things. I like to make sure I have the lashes for those kinds of things. And the last couple pairs that I had, I've used them up. So I'm trying these out as opposed to just their regular standy, standard Demi Wispies. I'll, I'm happy to see how these are. They look pretty similar to the ones I always get anyway, just like a little bit thicker, you know? So we'll see. And I ordered some more things from the Sephora sale, but they took forever. They, my order was delayed. And I know they're having a high volume of orders right now because of the wholesale. So, you know, I expected it to be honest, but I was kind of bummed out because I'm excited to get the, the additional things that I order. But anyway, I also picked up some things from J. Crew. I shopped their friends and family sale. So I'm excited. I only got a couple things. There's two skirts in here. So I'm excited to see how these are because I love knit skirts and I like J. Crew's knit. So you guys already know how I am. If I like something, I get it in both colors. And a basic black and a like a, this is more like a cognac color. You cannot go wrong. So I got them in both colors. Oh wow, it's not as thick as I was hoping for. But let's see, it might look good on. It feels nice though. This is the black one. And I got them both in a size large, which is typically what I get in like, you know, bottoms. Large or extra large, but it's a knit, so usually I can size, size down and rib knits. Gizmo back. He's always scratching at the door, but then when he gets in the room, he wants to go out of the room. Ooh, look at this color. It looks so good. Look at that. I love that. So let me try it on so I can show you guys how it looks. All right guys, so I have the skirt on. Let me just back up and show you how it looks, but I kind of wish it was thicker. I have another skirt from J. Crew. It's the navy blue one. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know which one I'm talking about. It's like navy blue, and then it has the stripe on the side. That one is really thick and substantial. This one is not thin, it's just not as thick as that one. You know what I mean? So let me just show you how it looks. And I'm probably gonna wear it like with a sweater, you know what I mean? Like loosely tucked over it, which I think would be good. I think it's gonna be fine. It'll probably be like something like this. Anyway, I really like it. I'm just not sure if it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. I just gotta style it up and see like how it looks with other things. And I'm waiting for a pair of boots to come in the mail from Nordstrom. And I wanted to try it on with this and see how it looks as well. I mean, the boots have nothing to do with the skirt, but I had like a whole outfit in my mind. So we'll see, but I have tons of things I can style the skirt with right now just to see if it works for me. I'm just, I'm really bummed out that's not as thick as I wanted it to be, you know? But I'll let you guys know because how I style it up, that'll determine whether or not I keep it. So stick around, um, you know, for more. And if I style it up for real, like if I decide to keep it, I'll put it in the outfits of the week. So you guys will see it either way. Um, but yeah, so right now I do need to film another video for the memberships, the membership group uh, on YouTube. So I got to film a video for that. And I need to grab a snack because I'm a little bit hungry and something to drink. And that's it. I got like some admin things I have to do for the rest of the evening. And tomorrow I have a photo shoot. I have to take a couple of pictures for a campaign that I'm doing on YouTube. Um, and what else? That's pretty much it, like life planning kind of stuff. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit because I gotta show you when the turkey's finished. Don't go saying it's the money. That ain't changed me, it changed everyone else. Hey guys, I'm back. I decided I wanted to try on the black skirt before I didn't feel like it anymore. And it's still a no, it's a no for me. I'm returning to J. Crew skirts and I'm really bummed about it because I was looking forward to these, but it's just not perfect and I don't wanna keep it. So let me show you what I mean though, because this might not be a big deal for other people. So if you are interested in the skirt, I'll link it, you can check it out and it might, be, it might work for you, you know what I mean? But it's not exactly what I was looking for. I wanted it to be thicker. I don't know if you can see on camera, but like the bottom, 
it kind of like moves a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I wish it was longer. This is a funny little length, and I wish it was just slightly longer. So, I gotta return the skirts. I get a lot of questions about how to grow a YouTube channel, how to start, equipment recommendations, what do I do? So I wrote a book and I'm sharing it with you guys. It's gonna detail everything that I did to grow my channel, specific information and actionable steps that you can take to grow your YouTube channel. So if you are just wanting to start one but you just have no idea where to start, you get overwhelmed and you just it just seems so far away for you, this book will help you. If you already have a YouTube channel and maybe you've plateaued or you're just not seeing any kind of growth or you're not seeing the kind of growth that you feel like you should be seeing, this book will help you. It's going to detail everything that I have done and it'll have actionable steps that you guys can take to get you to the next level for your YouTube channel. So click the link in the description box and get started on your channel.